हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू प्लानट जियोलॉजी सो आई आई टी खड़गपुर हैज़ फाइनली रिलीज द इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्रॉशर फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एग्जाम देर सम मेजर चेंजेस दैट हैव टेकन प्लेस इन द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू सी इन सेक्शन ए एंड सेक्शन बी सो बट बिफोर वी जम्प इन टू द डिटेल्स आई वुड लाइक यू ऑल टू प्लीज हिट द बेल आइकन एंड द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर वी डिस्कस वट एक्चुअली हैज चेंज लेस डिस्कस वट हैज नॉट चेंज फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर so one thing that has not changed is the total number of questions that you get in the exam so earlier section a and section b combined you used to get 55 questions in 2022 also you will get 55 questions the aptitude part initially it used to be 10 questions and also in 2022 it is going to be 10 questions in total you will have 15 marks for the aptitude part and 85 marks for the geology and geophysics section a section b part so these are the things which have not changed So now let's discuss what actually has changed. So the total number of question in part A has come down from 25 to 16, and the total number of questions in section B it has again gone up from 30 to 39. So you may think that the total weightage for section A and section B has changed. That is not the case. The total weightage is still the same. So for section A you have 25 marks, and for section B you have 60 marks. So that is still the same. Nothing has changed in that respect. so how are we maintaining the same weightage if we, if the total number of questions in each section has changed so the one thing that has changed the major change that we see so until 2021 you used to get only one mark questions in section a and only two mark questions in section b in 2022 you will get both one mark and two mark questions in section a and both one mark and two mark questions in section b so section a will be seeing two mark questions for the first time ever and section b will be seeing one mark questions for the first time ever so that is how we are maintaining the same marks so out of the 16 questions that you see in section a nine questions will be of two mark each and seven questions will be of one mark each giving you a total weightage of 25 marks now in section b the the number of questions for two marks will be 21 and the number of questions for one mark will be 18 giving you again a total weightage of 30 of of 60 marks in total okay so the number of questions has gone up in section b but the marks number of marks the weightage has not changed so how this will actually affect the exam pattern and your preparation for one don't think that the weightage of geology is going up okay so you don't need to focus more on geology in comparison to what you used to do in the previous year if you have appeared before or if you are appearing for the first time it's probably going to be the same uh, same uh, split between geophysics and geology in section a overall the number of questions has reduced in section a but still it is worth 25 marks now another thing because we are seeing one mark questions in the geology in the second part paper b so i think this year non numerical type questions may may increase in the geology part especially to make up for those one mark questions so the two mark questions can be numerical type and the msq type questions but the because we have 18 one mark questions a major chunk of those could actually be non numerical or non msq type questions so the descriptive descriptive questions non numerical questions uh, where you have to select one option so those can make a major chunk of that 18 marks overall because the syllabus has not changed from last year so the topics that you have to cover the preparation strategy should not changed one thing that you can do is actually to subscribe to a test series so that you can uh, you can practice in the latest exam pattern and you are not surprised during the exam because in the exam it is as much about maintaining your composure uh, planning for the time maintaining or doing time management during the exam that is actually very very important in addition to what you have already prepared so that you are able to perform to your full potential so that is all that i have for this video and i hope to see you all in the next video thank you very much